what's up everybody it's been a while hope you're doing well so uh, at the beginning of the year towards the end of january me and my sister decided to take a road trip to eastern uganda so we went through um, kayunga jinja bali and our final destination was Kapchora cp falls and we had so much fun so we decided to take you along with us i hope you enjoy the video as much as we enjoyed living this moment so as you all know when you're traveling in uganda there's no way you can enjoy the journey without having some you know some much more along the way and this was us reaching nachifuma where we stopped over so we can get some snacks that we can chew on on our journey nachifuma is along kayunga road we opted for this route because there's no much traffic as opposed to the mukono route and so we got ourselves some roasted gizzards and uh, some roasted plantain for the road. Our first destination was um, horse riding in Jinja at Nile horseback riding so I did this activity alone because my sister is afraid of heights we reached the ranch and this was me putting on my safety gear and of course they briefed me they gave me a small briefing on how this works and this was my very first time to you know to ride a horse I mean not like ride ride but you know <laughs> you know what I mean and I must say it was a nice experience it is one of those things I've always wanted to try or do and as you can see the horse was somewhat misbehaving there and I mean well I'm a stranger to it but we had to enjoy this experience Our horse guide was also good. He, he took us to this beautiful scenery along River Nile and we had a moment to take some beautiful pictures. And after that, we went back to the ranch and uh, I had a moment and an, an opportunity to pet the horse. The name of the horse was Borash. And after that, we hit the road because we didn't want to spend the night in Ginger and it was getting late. So we hit the road and headed for Mbale district. We reached Mbale at night, so we didn't really capture lots of videos. We didn't vlog a lot there, but uh, we stayed at Casa Bed and Breakfast in Mbale and the room we stayed at was beautiful i loved the fact that they embrace africanacity like the interior design of this room had africa written all over it the curtains were made out of kikoi like which gave it that african touch and we loved our stay there after checking in we went and had our dinner because we were starving so we ordered we ordered ahead by the time we reached there uh, it was ready food was ready and it was only for warming so we had that and went ahead back to our rooms showered and slept early so we are ready for the next day the next morning the first activity we had was to go to check out Wanale Falls in Mbale so we had a Victoria moment there as we were waiting for breakfast to come we had some English pancakes and uh, scrambled eggs before we hit the road 
and we started hiking slowly and this is the, the area we went through that greenhouse is used for robust coffee and these nets right here are used for drying that robust coffee that is one of the economic activities that happen in Mbale and just a brief history about Wanale Falls Wanale Falls was named after one of the sons of the previous king and I am working on this video a month after this so I have forgotten some of the <laughs> some of the historical details that were shared with me but that is where we were heading up there but we weren't going up to the pool of the falls we just wanted to hike up to the bottom of the falls and just see how beautiful they are and this is us on our journey well we started the journey kind of late and it was scorching hot and this is our beautiful and wonderful guide esther who was so patient with us because when i checked my phone it said that we walked a total of nine kilometers so you can imagine this is us reaching the falls and behold we present to you wanale falls man these falls are so beautiful i mean the hike was so worth it Right here, the falls were really splashing water on us and helping us get relieved of the heat we had accumulated on our way up. anyway we had to head back to the to the lodge so we could have lunch freshen up and hit the road for cp falls capjora so after having lunch we started our journey and man capjora is beautiful and very hilly and as you see up there that is where, where we were heading like <laughs> we were going around the hill and so this is us when we arrived cp falls of course we had some jubilation we are like yay we made it we made it <laughs> as if we made it in life anyway so uh, this is the famous cp falls it's uh, beautiful and this is from a distance before we had even started hiking Here we had reached the falls, we were at the bottom of the falls. So we stayed at CP Falls Lodge, Casa. This happens to be a sister lodge to the lodge we stayed at in Imbale town. And again, they embrace the African touch, you know. As you can see, the bed throw on is also a Kikoi. 
the curtains were made out of kikoi the lamp stamps were calabashes which is you know so african and you know the sink stands like i just loved everything about these lodges because they have this africa they've embraced the african touch the decor like the curtains as you can see it's a it's 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 a chitenge fabric which is so nice i just loved that about this place We are tired now chilling outside our <laughs> oh, chilling outside our room. So after resting, we freshened up and headed to the restaurant so we can have a snack. And let me tell you, Capchora is so cold. So as we were seated in the restaurant, it was freezing cold. We asked for campfire and within minutes, we had campfire set up for us. And did I mention that Casa, Casa CP4's lodges have impeccable service? Well, they do. we headed back to our room and we had some bonding moments we chilled we caught her before we went to bed to rest for the night That's the view from our lodge and we are going to have breakfast taking in all that scenery. Uganda is truly the pearl of Africa. We had our breakfast there and after we had breakfast we had a pictorial moment. And let me tell you, you can only take such photos from CP Falls Lodge. I mean, did you see the garbage in, garbage out concept? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the content in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer. Otherwise, see you in the next one. Ciao!